by the word of his power. He could have called at any time millions of angels to set him free and destroy his enemies, but he was not finished with the Father's will prophesied. Who just hit you? They hit him again and again and again and again. And they took Jesus into the midst of one of these trials. They blindfolded him. And they yelled out, crucify him, crucify him. And every king received the crown, so they took the crown of thorns. Large thorns, not small ones, like on his body hanging on the cross. And it was probably at that moment that the cross dropped in that hole. Step down the fire. Step down, come down to the hill. I want you to imagine the pain. Jesus must have suffered. Remember, his body is his slave. We were the reason Jesus suffered and died. We were the reason he was tortured. And the pain is Jesus did whatever he did. The first response was really, very hesitant, but we ended up praying, and I got back down many times, but I didn't stop, and I kept going up to people, and I, it was just really happy, it made me happy, and I feel like I impacted many people's lives. So you went with Haley, and Haley was extremely bold, right? She was very bold in getting up and going and doing what she's supposed to do. Let me ask you, for you, what did that do for your confidence while you were with her? It showed me that, like, just do it, I guess, like, let's go home. Awesome, yeah. I like that you were just do it. Man, I just want to say, Shane, that was so awesome. And, and it's very encouraging to me as a leader. And I want all of you guys to know that just because you're young doesn't mean that you can't have influence on others. The Holy Spirit can use any of you guys. And now I'm in tears because that was so cool. And it, and it motivates me. So I just want to share that. It made my heart so happy that, you know, she just took that assignment, took that thing, you know, she took that assignment and she really ran. Um, and so I really would like for you to talk a little bit about it. it yeah, um, teenagers are so much harder, but I think it's so cool. If we look back on every single one of our lives, I know that every single one of us had a story. And it's just, it's so cool to look back and think about where you are now. And that maybe two years, you didn't ever think that you were going to step forward to the church. You thought you were going to burn as soon as you stepped in. <laughs> that was me. Um, <laughs> And just seeing where you are now, it's so, so important to be proud of yourself and to know where you are and to know where you stand and to know who you are, like she was saying, to know who can speak into your life and who maybe you shouldn't be speaking into, maybe you shouldn't let be speaking into your life. And that can be family members, it can be friends of years, it's just, it's so, so important to know who you are and every single one of you has spoken into my life and that I have a relationship with
God who closed your eyes to lies. God who healed your lies. Willing to do whatever it takes to reach our friends with the good news of Jesus. So we go with the boldness that doesn't come from ourselves, that comes from you, God, and do whatever it takes to get our friends to Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen.